more extra care once they're then postpartum for the C-sections. They have a lot more pain. Um, then you're caring for the incision, which can get infected pretty easily. Um, so usually those patients, we're getting them up every four hours because they do have um, IVs in and um, they wear light compressions so that since they're not moving, they won't get a blood clot. They do have our folium. Um, and we have them in capnography to monitor their oxygen. So a lot more stuff with the C-sections, that's for sure. Um, if someone does have a C-section with their first baby and they come in to deliver a second or third, usually they ha just have a C-section again to cut, just re reopen the incision. Um, if they were to try to have a vaginal birth after, we would only allow that after their first, if they tried to have a second and tried to have a vaginal birth, it's called a VBAC. Um, but sometimes that's kind of dangerous because if you're putting a lot of pressure on the incision, it could pop open. So. We usually just recommend the C-section for other babies. Yes? I know like some moms will get a hysterectomy right after. Yep. Do you think that like their pain is worse because of having two procedures or do you think it's like the same as just a C-section? I do see sometimes a little bit more pain with those, but I think since they're opening you up, it's about the same, to be honest. But that is another option too. Um, obviously, with a vaginal birth, they're not opening you up, so you can't just get a tube or, um, yeah, have a hysterectomy right away. Um, sometimes after uh, delivery, um, patients will bleed a lot. It's called a hemorrhage, um, where they're just pouring out blood, and we can't get it to stop with medications. So we do sometimes have to take patients back to the OR and open them up and do a hysterectomy so that they stop bleeding, um, which is very unfortunate if they want to have kids in the future. Um, sometimes part of the placenta is retained, um, so not the whole plac the pl <coughs> whole placenta doesn't deliver, um, which can cause huge blood clots and a lot of bleeding, which is also kind of dangerous. So, yes? Are there NICU nurses like a separate part than what you work in? Yes, so we, so it's labor and delivery and then the NICU, they're right above us though, right up the elevator. Um, which is nice because if someone delivers and their baby is in the NICU, they can go visit them at any time while they're still admitted on our unit. Um, and it's nice to have the NICU nurses there that know a little bit more about the intensive care of the baby. So that is nice. And all the other night we had a baby that wasn't doing so hot, so the NICU team just had the baby for about 24 hours. Um, so, yeah. Do you want to talk about a typical week for you? Like, So I work 36 hours a week, so that's we only do 12-hour shifts. So it's either 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. or 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So either days or nights. Um, I switch back and forth every three weeks about. So in our six-week schedule, it's about half days, half nights. Um, they, so working 12s, I only work three days a week usually. We have to pick up a lot of on-call right now because we're short-staffed, but usually it's only three days a week. So sometimes you'll have like, you'll work two days and then you'll have a couple days off and work another. Or this last weekend I worked, so Friday and Saturday were part of one week, so I only had to work one day during that week and then two days the next week because of the weekend. So, um, but it is a lot working three twelves in a row. I know some people are like, oh, nice to only work three days a week. But that's a lot. <laughs> and it's not like you ever get out on time anyways. Usually I put in 13 or 14 hour days. So it's exhausting. <laughs> but it's very worth it. Very rewarding. Yeah. I think that's all I have. Does anyone else have any questions about anything? About schooling or nursing? Yeah. Do you know what other um, careers in the medical field have state that I'm like, um, I That one's only nursing, I believe. Okay. Um, and then for like dental hygiene or radiography, I don't know what their exam is called, but something similar, I'm sure, where you have to take an exam to get your license. So, yeah, and like I said, it's not the end of the world if you don't pass your first time. Um, you do have to wait that 45 days and pay your, pay your dues again, but uh, you, in the end, you're still a nurse, and no one walks around like asking you how many times you took your NCLEX and 
all that. So, yeah. How do the moms treat you when they're delivering babies? Are they crazy or are they okay? During labor, they scream and cry and hit you and yeah. they hate their life. <laughs> but after that, they have a beautiful baby and everything's all good. So. <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then during postpartum, some moms don't care for their babies as much as I hope they would, so it's kind of hard. Um, just doing a lot of educating, trying to teach them. They have to feed their baby every three hours. Um, they can't just let baby sleep and feed them every six hours. Um, and you have to change their diaper. Sometimes I see babies where you can tell their diaper hasn't been changed in hours because the poop's crusted to their tushy. Um, so that's kind of hard to see, but all you can do is educate and try to help them out as much as I can. Um, I know it's a lot to having a baby and having a newborn around like a puppy, always watching them. Um, even sleeping at night. At night we take the babies into the nursery if the parents allow us so that they can get some rest. Um, that's a good opportunity for them to just have baby out of sight, out of mind. Otherwise, if baby's lying next to you all the time, every peep they make, you're like waking up and wondering if they're choking. And yeah. But. Any other questions? It wasn't hard at all. I loved it, actually. Um, so at the beginning, if I remember correctly, um, it's online portion, so it's book and exams. You're watching videos and taking tests. Um, but you get to use the book on your tests, so that's super nice. And then once you're done with the online portion, then you have classroom. So that was every, like, four days a week, maybe? Like a four-hour class. Yeah. Um, I did mine during the summer, which was nice. But some people that do it during school, they can have like a five to nine or something. I know that's hard with sports, um, but summer is a good time to do that. And then at the end, you do have to take an online exam and then an in-person exam. So the in-person exam was situations and scenarios that they give you. So some things in the CNA class that I did were like foot care or washing someone up. Um, helping them go to the bathroom, so helping move them with like a gate belt or with their walker. Um, helping them use the commode or bedpans. Um, learning how to feed patients. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Obviously learning how to take vitals, like blood pressure and stuff. Um, so then once you did your exam and got your scenario, they'd be like, okay, show me how to wash this patient up or show me how to walk this patient to the bathroom, or show me how to feed this patient. And someone's sitting there taking notes as you're demonstrating to them that you know how to do it. And then at the end, they tell you pass or fail pretty much. So, it's not bad at all. I enjoyed it a lot. Yes? Do you know of any other people that got their CNA license and it helped them in like other fields aside I know a lot of people that like, even if they know that they're not going to work in the healthcare profession, they do CNA and really, really enjoy it. Um, but a lot of people, if they're going anywhere into healthcare, take CNA class. And even in nursing school, I could tell the people, like during clinical, that took their CNA and that didn't. Just because they are more comfortable around patients, they're jumping in and trying to help as much as they can with whatever they can. Whereas the people that um, didn't take their CNA class and are nurses now, they pretty much pass their meds and they're like, see ya, the CNA can do the rest of the work. Which being a CNA, you're like, everyone please help me. Because <laughs> um, you're stuck doing a lot of things. It is a lot of work, but also very rewarding. Um, I, what, since I worked at Wassa Manor in the nursing home, I wasn't a CNA there, but I saw a lot of what the CNAs did. Um, and it is a lot of work in the hospital. I would say it's just as much work, but different care. Um, you have some patients that are more independent than in a nursing home, say, um, but it is very rewarding. I enjoyed it a lot. Being in labor and delivery, have you lost any babies? We have. We've lost two since I've been there. Um, one lived for about 40 minutes. And then another one went up to the NICU and lived for about two days. So 
So I took care of the mom that um, her baby ended up passing away two days later, and it was very hard. I've never cared for um, a deceased patient before, and like had to go through that with the family. So that was my first time, and it was so crazy. Like trying to talk to a mom who just lost her baby is really, really, really hard. Um, but you're their support person, and you want to be there for them. And um, she didn't have any family there at the time, so you're their person, you're their support. So I spent a lot of time with her, and yeah, it's hard. Um, right now in the NICU they have a, I think it's a 24 weeker, but usually they go up to the NICU right away and we don't see them after that. So, um, this week I had twins that were 36 weeks. They got to stay down on our floor, which was impressive. They were only a little over five pounds, so. Um, and then after they deliver, the babies lose a lot of weight right away. Um, so they were actually under five pounds when they delivered. What's the biggest baby you've delivered or seen delivered? Someone told me, one of the OB techs said that she had a 12 pound baby, which I don't know if I believe, but um, I've seen like 9 pounders, some huge Olympic toddlers. Yeah, with their big chunky rolls. Yeah, that's what's any other questions for Malia? All right. Thank you. What's the address? Oh, yeah.